Are you going to Paris this autumn? Yes. I hear it's lovely that time of year. Codes are powerful things. With codes, you can pass a note in class. Or hide a submarine. Codes keep your bank account secure and your emails private. But codes can be cracked, and that can be a disaster. To keep a code from being broken, you have to keep changing it. But every time you change it, you have to tell your friends the new key. This is a fundamental weakness. If you send a new key, your enemy could intercept it, and then you're sunk. If you don't send a new key, your enemy will figure out the old key eventually. But that doesn't mean you're oud scray when it comes to oud key. Oh nay, it doesn't day. <laughs> this is where quantum physics comes in. Photons are the quantum particles that make up light. A single photon is a fundamental particle and cannot be split in two. This means that if a message is encoded into a single photon, it is impossible to eavesdrop on the message without blocking the photon. If the intended recipient successfully receives the photon, he knows that nobody else has intercepted it. Quantum key distribution, or QKD, is a brand new high-tech industry based on quantum mechanics with a billion dollar annual market. With QKD, the secret key that unlocks the encrypted message is sent as a stream of photons from one bank to another down an optical fiber, one at a time. If anyone tampers with the fiber, the bank immediately detects this as increased noise on the signal. The system is so sensitive that tiny errors in the fibers themselves are detected. And just to be safe, these errors are treated like a security breach. Recently, a citywide QKD link allowed for secure video link-ups in Vienna, Austria. There's even plans for a secure link between Europe and the US in space. As the technology advances, QKD links are going to get cheaper and faster. Chances are you'll find them in your cell phones and your credit cards. Either way, life is about to get a lot harder for the code breakers. Well, the chicken is in the coop. I'm Ari Lay. And I'm Arissa Lay. And we'll see you next time. Done. That's my very own code. I'm gonna call it Larry's Code. Hmm? A stands for A. Mm -hmm. B stands for B. Mm -hmm. Larry, your code corresponds letter for letter with the alphabet. Uh, exactly. No one will ever suspect that because it's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Larry, you are such an idiot. Did you just say that in Larry's Code? Oh. It's catching on.